today I actually got something kind of neat. I wasn't expecting it, actually, for quite a bit of time. Um, a nice little toy called a Raspberry Pi actually came in. This lovely little thing. You can see by the, oh, sorry. By the lovely uh, little symbol there. The Raspberry Pi is <laughs> a, a mini computer in a sense. Um, so I started playing around with it. Got um, quick to read a run with a with someone who made a nice little script for it. Um, what? Okay, time's not right on that. Um, I'll have to reset that. But it's essentially running uh, Java, maxing out it. Doesn't have a lot of memory. Everything else. So what I do, I said, hmm, let me try and run Minecraft. Yeah. It's doing its job. It's maxing out the CPU. It's doing a lot of stuff. Um, as you can see, it takes a while. I started this thing like ten, five or ten minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> this is just vanilla Minecraft, by the way. This is not anything special. Um, mostly 32 gigabyte card. Uh, it's running just very, very, very basic at the moment. Um, really thinking about actually doing a multi park possibly a multi, uh, oh, wow, that's going to be good. Good question. Um, I actually wonder if I can actually do a multi-partition, um, so I can actually, uh, or not multi-partition, multi-OS, so I can boot from, um, DFN and possibly try others out, but I'll think I'll just, uh, swap out the SD cards. Um, to that, though, um, it's actually not bad. Um, should be fun. Also, uh, from earlier results in our down, it's, it's got its things. Um, I'm a red hat person, so this is a whole new thing for me. Um, trying to work with Steven, or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. Uh, just enabled, uh, there's a little script in the uh, boot for anybody who's looking for it that you can enable SS, SSH. It's uh, boot something with uh, SSH.RC. All you have to do is just copy it to boot.RC. It'll automatically start um, the, the SSH window up, which is actually nice because um, you can also SFTP into the um, in, into the actual uh, SD card and everything else uh, through the network. Which is nice if you just want to keep this running, if you want to drop some files or everything else, if whatever purpose you need to. Um, unfortunately, I also need to re-download <laughs> Quake 3 because I downloaded a Russian version. Fun times. And I need to actually get a specific version, I think it was 3.14, I think it was. <laughs> Funny. Um, of one of the files. So this is going to be fun. Uh, after I actually do the uh, quick test with this, I'll actually... Um, be doing what I was originally thinking, which is pushing this up to be a um, a, a mini web server, really. Something um, basic My MySQL, PHP, Apache uh, build. Um, I'll try to keep it the same with um, all my other systems, which is un unfortunately um, PHP uh, 5.2.14. Uh, the I forget which Apache uh, edition version I'm using on the um, most of my CentOS servers. So it's the uh, default was the experimental um, experimental repositories on uh, on this to actually get the newer uh, type of um, PHP, which was uh, 5.2. Instead of uh, PHP 5 5.x uh, is uh, 5.1. Uh, that actually caused a bit of uh, trouble with uh, some reforms when it was unable to process a few things. Uh, mostly, yeah. With that though, the it's unfortunate I could possibly uh, re-register this if I'm just gonna go pure P, uh, pure server mode and actually take it because it's currently, um, as you saw before, taking 32 gigabytes out of the uh, total of 256 for the uh, GPU itself, which I could probably drop that down to uh, probably about 8, or not 
actually, um, yeah, actually eight, so I get 224 megabytes of memory to control process, so I'm not entirely going to be doing this on a production scale, so it'll probably be more along the lines of me and a few, uh, what's it called, CYG uh, win windows, just uh, W-getting or uh, post or pushing posts. Uh, post uh, form that yeah, should do uh, a little bit of uh, testing. Uh, it it should be actually pretty nice. Um, that's it for now, I guess. So see you for now.